we are covering predefined functional interfaces and in this video we are going to see fourth predefined functional interface which is unary operator this unary operator is a child interface of function functional interface if you see here unary operator extends function and in our previous video we have seen function functional interface which can take input parameter of any type and it can return any type of object as its return value so that's why we write function of t comma r as a generic parameter type where t is an input parameter type and r is a return type and both can be different but if you write function of t comma t as its generic parameter type that means it is going to take any type of object and it will return same type of object and that is the interface that unary operator is extending you see here function of t comma t as its generic parameter type so instead of writing function t comma t as its generic parameter type we can simply write unary operator of t which means it can take any type of object as its input parameter and it will return the same type of object as its return value and that's why in unary operator we have an inherited abstract method which takes any type of input argument and it returns same type of objects as its return value and it also inherit two default method from function interface which is compose and and then and we have already seen those default methods in our previous video and the most important thing to note in unary operator is that when we write unary operator of integer that means it is going to take an input argument of integer and it is going to return the same type of return value which is integer and if you see the lambda implementation is it takes number and it multiply the number by 10 that's why it is taking integer as its input parameter and it is also returning integer as its return value let's see some examples in IntelliJ ID so you see here we have a list of integers and this list contains five integers now we create a function which takes integer as its input value and also return integer as its return value so we can simply write this function as unary operator because in unary operator you just need to provide only one generic parameter type so we can write this function simply as unary operator of integer multiply by 10 equal to number arrow number into 10 that means it is going to take input parameter of integer and it is also returning integer as its value and we already know that in streams api we have a map function which takes function and unary operator is also a child of function that means we can also pass unary operator into map method of streams api if we pass multiply by 10 unary operator into our map and execute this program then we will get the numbers in the list multiplied by 10 so we have a list of 1 2 3 4 5 and we got the list of 10 20 30 40 and 50 and as we already know that this unary operator also inherit default methods from function which is dot and then right that we have already seen in our previous video so we can use multiply by 10 so this multiply by 10 is a function and this multiply by 10 is a unary operator and if we execute this program then it will multiply the number with 10 and then again it will multiply the number with 10 and if we run this program we will see the output as 100 200 300 400 and 500 and again we can also use another default method which is compose and as we have already seen in our previous video compose method will only change the execution of functional interfaces from right to left that means this multiply by 10 will be executed first and then multiply by 10 will be executed and if we execute this program it will produce the same output so that is same output and again as we have seen unary operator also has one static method which is unary operator dot identity and this unary operator dot identity static method is equal to this line here so basically it takes an integer and returns the same integer without modifying or without performing any operation that we have already seen in our function video so this line here unary operator dot identity is same as unary operator of integer which takes number and returns the same number back so the important thing to note here in unary operator is that it takes input argument of type t and it returns the same type of object as its return value and it has two default methods which are inherited from function interface that is and then and compose 
and it has one static method which is unary operator dot identity and our map function it can take function and we know that unary operator is a child interface of function that's why our map method can accept unary operator as well as it is a child of function so that is all about unary operator thank you for watching this video in next video we are going to cover by functional interfaces thank you have a great day bye bye